Hello, Astro people. Welcome to the class two of this course. On class one, we learned about right ascension and declination. These are the equatorial coordinates. We learned about horizontal and ecliptic coordinates that are defined on the celestial sphere. Now in this class, we're gonna look at other coordinate systems, our coordinates and galactic coordinates, and we're gonna find out how to do the coordinate transformation between them. The two less coordinate systems are the our coordinate system and the galactic coordinate system. So let's go through these less ones in detail. For the hour coordinate system, we will need the definition of an hour circle. An hour circle is a great circle that is going from the celestial poles, from the north celestial pole to the south celestial pole and passing by the star. So the hour circle is the great circle where all the stars have the same right ascension. So this defines the hour coordinate system. In the hour coordinate system, the fundamental plane is still the celestial equator. One of the coordinates is the declination of the star. The difference is that the order quantity, instead of being right ascension, is the hour angle. The hour angle is measured from the meridian to the hour circle of the star. So you have the meridian here. The star is in here, that's the point X. The hour angle is the angle that is going from the meridian where the star culminates to the current position of the star. So you see here that this coordinate system combines a universal coordinate, which is declination, with a local coordinate, which is the hour angle. So the hour angle of the star is zero when the star culminates and it increases from zero to 24 hours. Stars in the same hour circle have the same hour angle. This is a very useful quantity because the hour angle, as you can see, gives you the time that has elapsed since the star culminated. So if you know that a star has hour angle two hours, you know that it culminated two hours ago. If the star has hour angle 22 hours, it's gonna culminate in two hours. Related to the definition of our angle is the definition of the local sidereal time. Sidereal means with respect to the stars, it comes from the Latin sidus, meaning star. A sidereal period refers to the time taken to return to the same position with respect to the distant stars. You have here um, the coordinates in both equatorial and in the hour system. You have gamma here, the vernal point, you go from the vernal point to the hour circle of the star and that defines the right ascension. The complement of this from the hour circle to the meridian defines the hour angle. The local sidereal time is the sum of the hour angle plus the right ascension of the star. That means that the local sidereal time is the hour angle of the vernal point. The right ascension alpha is fixed, but the hour angle H increases, so does the value of the local sidereal time T. We can use the local sidereal time as a measurement of time. The time interval between two consecutive passages of the vernal point through the meridian, we call it a sidereal day. Seen here in this figure, there is a difference between the solar day, the day that we are used to. The solar day is the interval of time between two consecutive passages of the sun through the same point in the sky. The sidereal day, being the passage of the vernal point, is measured with respect to the stars. There is a difference between them because of the orbit of the Earth. Because as the Earth moves in its orbit, when it's facing the same star, when the vernal point is passing through the meridian, to catch up with the sun, the Earth has to turn a little bit more. This difference is small, but it accumulates. 24 hours of sidereal time equal 23 hours and 56 minutes and four seconds of solar time. Look at galactic coordinates. 
Galactic coordinates have as fundamental plane the plane of the galaxy. And as you can imagine, it's very important for galactic astronomy. The plane of the galaxy is seen in the sky as the Milky Way. As you can see then in this figure, you have the projection of the circles in the sky, the celestial equator in blue, the ecliptic in red, and the galactic equator in yellow. It defines a great circle in the sky, also with its associated poles, the North Galactic Pole and the South Galactic Pole. You can define, based on that, galactic longitude and galactic latitude. The galactic longitude is measured with origin at the center of the Milky Way, and the galactic latitude towards the galactic pole, the North Galactic Pole.